<sighs> Hello, this is Itachi Uchiha, and this is Deja Vu. Deja Vu. I feel like, is this a repeat episode? Have we been here before? I feel like we've been here before. Because here I am, saying another movie sucks. Actually, the last time I said a movie sucked, it ruined our whole computer, so I'm kind of worried about this. But let's see if we can get through it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Itachi Chia, and I'm here to tell you that the fault in our stars sucked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't look at me like that. Yeah, I did. It completely sucked balls. Completely sucked balls. But... Oh, man, this, this movie has its audience, because, because it is not really for me. This movie wasn't made to impress me. It wasn't made to impress a certain audience. So, so who is this movie made for? Well, are you, if you're a general moviegoer looking for a good experience, eh, eh, not for you. If you're a philosopher looking for the meaning of life, eh, eh, not for you. But, if you're a group of, if you and your group of flies are looking for the nearest shit ball to gather around and, 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 like, eat? Yeah, this movie's for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, this movie's for you. If, if you're a big of flies that like picking at shit. Here we go. This movie's great for you, then. All right, so, The Fault in Our Stars, okay? I know the story. I know the, I haven't read the book. I didn't watch the movie. Same shit with Frozen, but I know the story, okay? Two teens with, t with cancer fall in love, and then the guy dies at the end, okay? That's, there's, there's the movie. I'll just save you two and a half hours. There you go. So, what I like to classify this type of movie is a teen romance tragedy. Okay, just a romance tragedy. It's aimed at teenagers, okay? Same thing with Titanic, Avatar, and Romeo and Juliet. It's aimed at teenagers and, and, and women, okay? Teenage girls and women. That's who these movies are made for, okay? Simple-minded, stupid people love this type of shit, where, where they get sad and cry and get all worked up. It appeals to stupid people. Does that make sense? This, 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 okay. And yeah, and I agree. This movie's very sad. This movie's a very, very sad experience. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't, think it's, I don't think we're thinking of the same meaning of the word sad. I mean, you probably think it was sad as in, eh. I think it's sad as in, this is fucking pathetic. I mean, that's what I think. Okay, so uh, I've offered no evidence as to why this movie sucks. I, I'm about to start doing that right now. All right, people. Th what really makes me mad about this movie is that it could have been good. Now, how can you? Uh, you're probably wondering, hey, Tachi, how can you sit there and say that when you haven't ever watched a movie? Hey, you're stupid. Actually, I'm not stupid. Okay, cancer. Okay, uh, I'm sure you, you're sure you, some of you probably knew this was coming based on my last two videos. I was bitching about cancer, and then I mentioned the movie in the last video. So, some of you probably could have predicted that this was coming, but... Okay, cancer is a disease that kills people, right? Yeah. Cancer affects family. It affects the whole family. This movie should not have been a romance movie. This book should not have been a romance book. This book slash movie should have been a movie about a cancer patient, one or two, doesn't matter, and how it affects a family. That's what this movie should have been. If it was like that, it would have been a fucking masterpiece. Okay, this idea that uh, this uh, this tragic idea, yeah, I could get on board with this. This would have been a great movie if they did it right. If this was a movie about, okay, maybe you could have had the same actors play the same parts, even just just make them related somehow. Okay, let's just say the girl is, is does not have cancer and the guy does. Okay, and their and their brother and sister. Okay, their brother and sister, and so. At the beginning of the movie, the guy is told that he has cancer, blah, 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 and it doesn't look good for him. Then as the movie, so, so they say, enjoy him while he lasts. So the whole movie, you know he's going to die the whole time. That's what makes it sad. And you see them growing closer together as the movie goes, and the whole time you know that he's going to die. Then, as the movie progresses, you have his health gradually start to get better, as in, oh, he's going to make it. And at the very end, he just dies. 
I know. That's brilliant. I know. You don't gotta tell me. I know it's brilliant. If that was a movie, it would be a fucking masterpiece. This idea about cancer was fucking gorgeous. It was great. It was great. This it had, it had the potential to be a masterpiece. Okay? And then, basically... Wow. Lights just turned off in here. Okay. So basically, what I'm saying here is that there was only one way to fuck this idea up. I mean, you could have them be cousins, you could have them been a mother and mother and son. There's only one way to fuck this idea up. And that is to do exactly what they fucking did. Have them not related at all, and have it be a fucking teen romance movie with both of them having cancer. That's the only way they could have fucked this up, and that's exactly what they did. Okay, why the fuck does teen romance fuck everything up? This idea could have been great. It would have been amazing. It would have been a masterpiece. In, in, in my opinion, if they had did it with a brother and sister, mother and son, mother and daughter, father and son, it, it would have been a candidate for the best movie ever made. Right up there was Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane is the best motion picture ever made right now. But this movie could have beaten that if they did it like this. Okay? But no. No, they slapped Teen Romance on. And Teen Romance fucks everything up. Fucked vampires up. Fucked werewolves up. Fucked aliens up. Fucked zombies up. Fucked witches and magic up. Now it's fucking up cancer. Okay? And so... Cancer is exploited in this movie, okay? Cancer's fucking exploited. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, what's the difference between if they had it as a, as a mother? Because cancer... Okay, let, let me... It, this fucking teen romance formula goes like this, okay? Okay? They they take this tragic event, Romeo and Juliet... No, not Romeo and Juliet, just Titanic that... Everyone knows the Titanic, and Avatar being war. They take these two things, okay? And they turn them... Into fucking teen romance plot devices, so we just stop caring. Do you care about the Titanic anymore? No, because when you think of that Titanic, now you think of the 1997 piece of shit, not the good move, not the, not the actual boat. And now when you think of Avatar, you don't think of the show that was good, the, the, the masterpiece show. You don't think of that. You think of fucking blue people. And so. So basically, cancer is is what what they did was they exploited it just like they exploited war and they exploited Titanic. It's just another exploited thing, okay? Which means it loses a whole bunch of power because we don't care anymore. We don't fucking care. Us guys don't fucking care because we fucking know. But if this was a movie, if this was a movie about family. Yeah, it would tug at the heartstrings of guys a bit more. It would. I'm sorry. That just it blows my mind that they did this. Just just blows my fucking mind. Just because this idea had so much potential. That's the this movie is the biggest disappointment ever. Because this idea had so much potential to be a masterpiece. It's sad. It really is. It really makes me sad that they fucked this up. Because like the probability, okay, this is, the probability that two teenagers in cancer, whatever the fuck, fall in love is highly unlikely. Okay? Highly unlikely. But the movie about family and one person having cancer and what I just said, what I described, the plot I described, happens all the time. It's a real situation. It would be a real situation put on film. Basically. That's what have, what would have made it so sad and so tragic because it happens around the world and it could have supported cancer research and shit. It would have been a fucking masterpiece. But no, they fucked it up and they slapped Teen Romance on it. Now no one cares anymore. I don't care about this movie. Uh, guys don't care about this movie. Some girls don't care about this movie. Just what it could have been. What it could have been. It would have been so helpful to those poor kids that are dying. It really is sad. <sighs> oh well. Maybe someone else will get it right one day. Alright. Oh, well, that's everything I wanted to say. This movie fucking sucks. Go fuck yourselves if you like it. It's fucking terrible. Right? Okay. See you later.